Today I read to you from the book of Revelation. Um, I'll be reading chapter 21, verses 1 through 10, and then verse 22 through chapter 22, verse 5. Hear the word of the Lord. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out from coming down out of heaven from God, made ready as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne say, Look, God's dwelling is here with humankind. He will dwell with them, and they will be his peoples. God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. There will be no mourning, crying, or pain anymore. For the former things have passed away. Then the one seated on the throne said, Look. I'm making all things new. He also said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, all is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will freely give water from the life-giving spring. Those who emerge victorious will inherit these things. I will be their God, and they will be my sons and daughters. But for the cowardly, the faithless, the vile, the murderers, those who commit sexual immorality, those who use drugs and cast spells, the idolaters and all liars, Their share will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur. This is the second death. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the last of the seven last plagues spoke with me. Come, he said, I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. He took me in a spirit-inspired trance to a great high mountain. And he showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. I didn't see a temple in the city because the temple is the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb. The city doesn't need the sun or the moon to shine on it because God's glory is its light, and its lamp is the lamp. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of earth will bring their glory into it. Its gates will never shut by day, and there will be no night there. They will bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. Nothing unclean will ever enter it, nor anyone who does what is vile and deceitful, but only those who are registered in the Lamb's scroll of life. Then the angel showed me the river of life-giving water, shining like crystal, flowing from the throne of God and the Lamb, through the midi, middle of the city street. On each side of the river is the tree of life, which produces 12 crops of fruit, bearing its fruit each month. The tree leaves are for the healing of the nations. There will no no longer be any curse. The throne of God and the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. 
They will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. Night will be no more. They won't need the light of the lamp or the light of the sun, for the Lord God will shine on them. And they will rule forever and always. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. I have to admit to you that I, I grew up with a rather unhealthy interest in the book of Revelation. Um, I really did. Even before I knew I was, well, yeah, sometime around the time I knew I was called to be a pastor, I, I, I became very, very overly interested in this book. You know, part of that was because there were so many authors out at the time who, who were talking about uh, revelations and, and all that it had to do for, for the people of God and, and, and things that would be happening in the not-too-distant future. You know, we lived with the, uh, the Soviet Union and how they were, they were going to be the, the instruments of uh, disaster that would bring about the, the last war. Um, I seem to recall that the Soviet Union is no more, right? It doesn't exist anymore, and that war never came. But anyway, I had this unhealthy interest in the book. I read a lot of, about it. I read, watched a lot of people talk about it and, and got caught up in a lot of things, including, if you all who were around then would remember, this thing called rapture practice. Anyone here remember rapture practice? Yeah, there, there's a few. That's where you would, you would stand where you are and you'd jump, you know, knowing that one day you would jump and you would just keep going and going and going and going. Because that was the belief. That's what people who read Revelations a lot thought. I even, I even started doing that. That very thing I just did for a minute there. I even started calling the book by the wrong name. I got so wrapped up in it I didn't realize what I was doing. It's not Revelations, is it? No, you can look in your Bible if you don't believe me. It's not. It's revelation. It's a single revelation given to the people of God at a time when they desperately need it. You know, it was in realizing how many people who were saying this name wrong, I, I kept hearing it and I kept looking at the Bible book and it's in realizing that that I decided to start reading this book a little bit closer. This book that was supposed to be about the end of all time, mind you. I started reading it a little closer, and, and I realized that, you know, I think a lot of people were missing the point. We're missing it altogether. You see, by the time I got to chapters 21 and 22, these lessons, the, the lesson I just read to you here, I had already picked up a few hints, but by the time I got there, it was like slapping me in the face. This can't be about the end of time. There's no way it could be about the end of time. I mean, just, just listen to some of what I read to you there. It says, its gates will never shut by day, and there will be no night, night there. And they will bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. Well, if it were the end of all time, there wouldn't be any need for nations. Would there? I, I mean, seriously, when you read that, it says the nations are there. That's not the only time. It says a little later on when it's talking about on each side of the river is the tree of life it's the leaves of the trees are for the healing of who? The nations. The nations are still here. They haven't been destroyed in some final battle. They're, they're still around. And then there's this whole thing about this tree. <laughs> Did you notice that? The tree produced fruit 12 months, 
12 times in a season. It's like